you guys and welcome to live in general vlogs today's video is the instant pot recipe it's a chicken stew that I came up with a long time ago like 10 years ago and it became a hit with my friends and my family and I've been making it ever since it's a budget friendly you could make any part of the chicken that you like I personally use chicken breasts uh, or chicken thighs depending what's on sale or where I, what do I have uh, but you could use whatever part of the chicken that you want looks like my instant pot recipes is a hit on this channel even though I never thought like my cooking would go anywhere but I guess you guys like it I love my instant pot and I use it literally almost every day I pretty much make everything in it but I wanted to share this specific recipe with you guys I hope you guys enjoy it if you're new to my channel thank you so much for coming in and if you're a returning a viewer thank you so much let's begin all right you guys here's some of the ingredients that I have I'm sorry while I'm doing the voiceover um, I actually completely got sick with bronchitis and pneumonia so I'm recovering from that anyhow let's begin so I got my chicken and uh, I'll go over that a little bit got my instant pot potatoes Onions, minced garlic, scallions, and a tablespoon of butter, two bay leaves, salt and pepper, and maybe half a cup of sour cream. Anyways, so here's the chicken that I'm using. I'm using chicken breast, just like one, and I'm using chicken gizzards. Basically, it's the belly part of the chicken, which is tenderized in an instant pot, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, and Emma loves it. It's very good for you it's nutrition if you have never tried it before do try it uh, there's nothing weird about it it's just like eating wings but this is really tender and delicious um, so that's pretty much it what I'm using so next what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of oil and I forgot to mention that my instant pot is on saute right now and I put the meat in first and then I'll add my onions to it. By the way, you guys, I apologize for my voice. I'm uh, getting over bronchitis right now. So, yeah, that's the stuff. So I put some onions in there. I like them to be small. Uh, they kind of cook in and add in the flavor. Very important to kind of mix everything together because, you know, it's just better. I added two bay leaves and salt and pepper. I'm not adding too much because I am pregnant. I'm watching my salt intake and too much pepper is not good for a little, you know, 15 month old baby. But it started browning a little bit and then I'll add half a cup of sour cream. Usually I add more than that, but that's all what I had left in the fridge. Uh, that's a good way of using your, you know, sour cream that's about to go bad or you have left over and you don't know what to do. It tenderizes the meat, especially the chicken. It makes it so delicious. And then I add a little bit of water, boiling water, no, hot water, just boiling water. It doesn't matter if it's hot or cold, just a tiny bit, just like that. And then I'm gonna add my potatoes and I made them big and chunky. I'm gonna mix it in. And Ryan is holding the camera because obviously I can't find the tripod little insert that holds the camera. Emma uh, got a hold of that, my daughter. So now I'm adding minced garlic. I have two little cloves of garlic and then a teaspoon and a half of butter. I'm going to kind of mix it in a little bit. That's as much as liquid you want to put. You don't want to put more than that because then... The instant pot's gonna make more liquid and then you're basically gonna have a soup you don't want to do more than that then you'll have to reduce it so I'm gonna go ahead and put our meat and stew and I'm gonna put it for 20 minutes I believe I did 20 minutes yeah I couldn't decide what should I wanted to do because I was gonna let it naturally release so I did 20 minutes you could do 15 honestly it was a little bit mushy for me Make sure your lid is unsealed and everything's locked. 
it's on and then after it's going to start counting down i'll let it do a natural release for 15 minutes all right you guys ryan always tells me that this is one of his favorite recipes it's comfort food it tastes delicious anyways i let it do a natural release for 15 minutes and this is how it looks it was absolutely delicious and amazing i enjoyed it it's a very easy meal to make especially if you're on a budget I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and try it out. Please don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thumbs up. And I love to read your comments and I respond to them promptly. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. And please don't forget to click the bell. No, you meant the world to me.